Hello, graduates, family members, and friends. My name is David Spaulding, and I'm the Raysbeck Endowed Dean of the Debbie and Jerry Ivey College of Business at Iowa State University. It's a pleasure to be gathering with you virtually to celebrate the many accomplishments of our summer and fall 2020 graduates from the Ivy College of Business. Since last March, we've all had to get used to Zoom meetings, working in projects on Microsoft Teams, hybrid classes, and limits on in-person activities. We wear masks, stand six feet apart, and use hand sanitizer by the gallon. We didn't tailgate outside Jack Trice Stadium. It was a very different fall at Iowa State and all over the world, as we all do our part to control the spread of COVID-19. Some in our community have contracted the virus. Some of you may have lost a friend or family member to COVID-19, and we're so sorry for your loss. Throughout this season of adversity, though, the work of the college has continued, preparing Ivy students to be the next generation of business leaders ready to take on big challenges and make a difference in a world full of constant change. To our graduates, I know this is not the convocation or graduation you envisioned when you started your college career at Iowa State. Normally, we'd be in Hilton Coliseum, marching into the arena wearing caps and gowns and shaking hands as you cross the stage. Faculty and staff and family and friends would be there to celebrate your big day. I wish we could be together in person, but like families and organizations around the world, our community has had to find new ways to celebrate during the pandemic. So here we are, separated, but still connected. We've created this special video to celebrate your graduation from the Ivy College of Business. In it, you'll hear from a few of your fellow graduates, as well as Ivy faculty and staff. The names of graduating students will scroll at the end of the video. I hope you're sharing this video with family and friends because the adventure you've had at Iowa State is not yours alone. It was shared by many people in your lives, parents, grandparents, siblings, friends, our faculty and staff. They all care very deeply about your growth as individuals and your success as professionals. Whether we're celebrating in person or virtually, it's our tradition to invite a graduating student to reflect on their Ivy experience. I'm pleased to introduce our fall 2020 student speaker, Katie Boland. Hello everyone, my name is Katie Boland. When I was asked to be the speaker for the Ivy College of Business, I didn't quite expect to be recording this in a quiet, empty classroom in Jardine, but here I am nonetheless. Today, I received a degree in marketing, international business, and Spanish with a minor in communication studies. After hearing that mouthful, I'm certain that some of you are assuming that decisiveness is not my strong point. And for that, you'd be correct. However, the Ivy College of Business is what allowed me to get the most out of my degree and education, and also prepared me to be confident entering the workforce, knowing that I have the skills to succeed. Aside from my degree, however, the Ivy College of Business taught me one thing that I will be able to apply in all walks and aspects of life. Here, I learned the importance of respect. Respect was modeled for all students on their first day in the Ivy College of Business. It didn't matter if it was Dean Spaulding walking down the hall or Sam the custodian coming in at 2 a.m. when you're cramming for your finals in Jardin to empty out the garbage cans. Each person is still acknowledged and treated with the same amount of dignity and respect. It's quite tough to put into words how these small gestures can make you feel at home and surrounded by people who genuinely care. So instead, I'll tell you a story. In the spring of my junior year, I embarked on a study abroad program to Casares, Spain, where I was signed up to take 15 credits and complete an internship. I was 5,000 miles from home and my family and campus and my friends. I didn't know anyone, but I was just so excited to set off on a new adventure. However, just two days into my program, I got a call from my mom at a time where she should have been fast asleep back in the US. As the phone rang, I was pretty nervous to answer knowing that the time of the call indicated that this probably was not good news. 
With a shaky voice and a sniffling nose, she explained to me that my dad had died suddenly of a heart attack. I was halfway across the world, feeling every single emotion in the book. But most of all, by 11 a.m. Spain time and 4 a.m. Iowa time, my heart was completely broken. To say that I was shocked and grief-stricken would be an understatement. However, my classmates, program coordinator, business academic advisor, and LAS academic advisor all work together from across the globe and immediately sprang into action. Within two hours, I had travel arrangements, counseling support, and more offers of assistance and comfort than I can count. Frankly, they all did the work that no one wanted to do. By the next day, I was home. From this experience, I learned firsthand how the Ivy community can and will band together in a time of crisis and treat me with the same amount of respect and care, even if it means having to wake up at 4 a.m. to do so. In the Ivy College of Business, I was challenged in classes, pushed to do more, learn more. My professors challenged me and fostered my love and curiosity for learning. But most importantly, my professors in the Ivy College of Business taught me how to think, not what to think. One example of this would be in Supply Chain Management 301. Many of us may have had Professor Rose, who had each day every student summarize a news article in their own words and relate it back to Supply Chain Management. In turn, we would receive our attendance points for that day. I will note that this was at the beginning of the pandemic, so news articles were especially prevalent. He asked us questions, asked how we interpreted it, how we came to a certain conclusion, and what that truly meant for each of us. We were expected and trusted to find our own sources, and through this, we learned the value of formulating an opinion despite bias. Being 2020 graduates, we are gonna be some of the most prepared individuals to enter the workforce. Although we may have lost out on internships, study abroad, or other general experiences, through that loss, we gained one key thing, resilience. I can relate to this. After my dad passed away, I came home for just shy of two weeks to be with my family. And at the time, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to finish my study abroad experience. And yet, I packed up my broken heart and headed back to Costa de Spain to finish my internship and my semester successfully. Had I not shown this resilience, I would have missed out on one of the best academic and social experiences where I made some of my closest friends. Every one of us graduating today shares this resilient spirit. Going forward, we're able to handle whatever life, or 2020 for that matter, throws at us next with resilience and grace. We are the Ivy College of Business graduating class of 2020. We are fiercely practical, curious challengers, and collaborative optimists. We are Ivy. I challenge each one of us to always keep these values of respect, critical thinking, and resilience as we leave Jardim and enter into our respective career paths. I will end this speech with a quote from Tom Brokaw. You are educated. Your certification is in your degree. You may think of this as the ticket to the good life. Let me ask you to think of it as an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. Thank you. I'm sure everyone listening has had an experience where they've been met with kindness, guidance, and grace at Iowa State. A lot of us can measure our college experience by the count of incredible friends, mentors, and faculty who have helped us along the way. The cups of coffee friends have gotten us at the Jardine Cafe, students banding together each semester to share notes, the advisor emails titled, just checking in, and the professors who see our struggles and exhaust every resource to get us through their classes. It's these displays of compassion that have prepared us for the road ahead. Business students get a bad rap for being a little overconfident, selfish, and competitive. While I see that in some of us, I mostly see the incredible cycling community we have created. We have learned to positively influence the energy in every room, to give whenever we can without the promise of something coming back, and to take care of one another. This community will follow us into the world and help us overcome impossible challenges. Global pandemics, civil unrest, and climate change 
aren't exactly fixable challenges, but the same grit, grace, and agility we have developed here in combination with the support systems we've built will help us face those challenges far beyond Jardine. I hope that all of you have at least one memory to remind yourself of how hard you've worked, how grateful you were for a break, and how incredible it was to receive a little help along the way. Hold on to that memory with gratitude and respect for the opportunity we have had to develop in this environment. Try your best to create the same communities of compassion wherever you go after Iowa State. It's our turn to pay that forward, and I trust that the graduating class of 2020 absolutely can. Thanks for listening. When I first arrived at the Des Moines airport after a 24 hour journey from Malaysia, one of the first things that I saw was Iowa State's iconic Choose Your Adventure Marketing. The Des Moines airport is really small, but the advertisement was bold and big, just like all of our dreams when we were freshmen. I remember thinking to myself, I wonder what my adventure is going to be like. This is a question that I haven't started asking myself in the last five years. And I bet many of you haven't started asking yourself that question either. A lot has changed since I first got here back in 2016. Across campus, we have seen changes in our leadership, seated our first female university president, and experienced record enrollment numbers at Iowa State. Clearly, other people are here seeking for adventure too. The new business building is finally done, even though I can't be there to experience the new facilities that we have. And yet, as I settled into Iowa State and found my home at Jardine, I realized that the biggest change was in myself. As I remember fondly what the last five years have brought, I look forward to what the next five years will bring. All of us will embark on different journeys after this, but we'll still be similar in the sense that most of us will be stepping into adulthood and we'll all be representing our soon-to-be alma mater, Iowa State University. Before I end this speech, let me just say this. To those of you who don't have the post-graduation plans that you thought you would, that is okay. Things will be okay, even if they're not today. We are cyclones, and cyclones are smart, kind, and above all, resilient and adventurous. I'm not originally from Iowa. In fact, I'm not originally from any of the 50 states. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. And I actually started my bachelor's at the University of Puerto Rico. I studied there right up until the university quite literally broke down for over a month because of riots that were happening due to Puerto Rico having filed for the largest municipal bankruptcy in the history of the US. At that point, I started searching for an opportunity that would allow me to build my career. And I found Iowa State. I remember sitting in Dr. Frederick Dark's office as a freshman in sharing with him my story. The story of what happened to the university I was previously studying in, what dim prospects my island had of economic recovery. But most importantly, I shared with them what I wanted to accomplish, entering the investment banking industry after graduation from the College of Business. He, he sat there and told me, okay, let's get to work. He welcomed me and guided me, educated me, and introduced me to my first fellow student mentor. I feel many people sometimes do not become mentors because they are not sure of what they can contribute. But I'm here to tell you three things. First, you have a unique set of experiences that no one else has. Second, you are a role model for many people in your life. There are some aspects of your life that people look up to, whether you notice it or not. And third, that you have an obligation to give to those around you. So today, I challenge you to use this new chapter of your life to provide mentorship to someone who can use it and to do so in a kind, welcoming way. This last part is important because you never know what someone has gone through. You never know if they had to leave their island because their university quite literally broke down and were thrown into an unfamiliar environment 2,200 miles away. In whatever role that you end up in, remember that you come from an institution that regards the willingness to provide mentorship as a key value to its success. Pass a value on, go set bonds. I'm so impressed 
by the resiliency and compassion you've shown during these challenging times. You've adapted and grown and helped one another because you are leaders. And that's what good leaders do when faced with a challenge. They rise to the occasion. Thank you for your resilience and patience during this stressful, uncharted time. In many ways, this pandemic has better prepared you for a career in business where, trust me, things will always be changing. Conditions shift, sometimes quickly. Established markets fade and new ones emerge. You've learned to pivot, to embrace new technology, and to work under less than ideal circumstances. You've learned to innovate at Iowa State, to see possibilities and find real solutions. As you transition from student to alumni, I hope you pause to consider how valuable your education truly was and how you will carry your Iowa State experience with you as you embark on your next adventure. I hope you will forever be as proud of your alma mater as we are of all of you. The Ivy College of Business is on the move. Our highest ever national rankings, adding new programs and expanding the Jardine Business Building to better serve our students. Just last week, the Iowa State Undergraduate Entrepreneurship Program was ranked number 11 in the nation by the Princeton Review and Entrepreneur Magazine. Now, please find ways to stay engaged with your Ivy College of Business. Be a mentor for students. Come back and talk to classes about your career field, the business you started, or the nonprofit that you lead. I know your advice and achievements will inspire future generations of Ivy students. Graduation ceremonies are symbolic. A cap, a gown, a handshake as you walk across the stage, a photo with your family and friends. This virus may take those symbols away, but it can never take away what you have achieved at the Ivy College of Business. You are well prepared, innovative, and resilient. And you're going to make a difference in this rapidly changing world. The Ivy College of Business is a better place because you are here. Thank you for sharing your gifts and perspectives with us. The entire Ivy community is very proud of you, and we can't wait to see what you do with your Ivy education. We wish you all the best in your next adventure. Congratulations to our Ivy graduates. You've accomplished so much and you did it with style during a global pandemic. We can't wait to see where your next adventures take you. Hey, I really hope your Iowa State experience was a good one. I trust that you'll fly over any speed bumps ahead in true cyclone fashion. Congratulations and attack your future. Hey, Tanya Austin here with Business Career Services. Uh, just wishing you all the best. Um, congratulations on your upcoming graduation. You did it. Uh, you overcame a lot of obstacles, especially the last few semesters. So you should feel really proud of your accomplishments. Uh, the world of work is ready for you. So go out there and make your mark. And again, all the best. Hello, class of 2020. It's Peter Ralston. I'm a supply chain management faculty member here at Iowa State wanted to take a moment and congratulate you on your many accomplishments here, uh, really succeeding during challenging times. Uh, you have a lot to be proud of, and I'm sure that there are many people proud of your accomplishments. I did want to take a second and provide one final piece of advice. Uh, in the words of the great Dolly Parton, uh, make sure as you stumble out of bed each morning, pour yourself a cup of ambition, that you attack each day like a cyclone. Congratulations, class of 2020. Best of luck to you. Congratulations, fall 2020 Ivy graduates. It's been a crazy year, but you have persevered and you've succeeded. So keep going, go out, do good things, and let us know how you're doing. Hello, fall 2020 graduates. What a year, what an accomplishment for you to successfully be at the end of your collegiate career. Congratulations. If you were a student of mine, thank you. Thank you for letting me walk alongside you through this journey. 
You have so much to be proud about, and I'm so proud of you. You have persevered and grown through your time here at Iowa State, especially this final year. I wish you all the best on this next chapter. Congratulations. Go Cyclones. Congratulations on your graduation from Iowa State University. May your profits be forever growing and your cash flow always positive. Stay in touch and go Cyclones. Your graduation shows your ability to succeed no matter the challenge. Congratulations and keep in touch. Hearty congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. You have accomplished a lot despite the challenges posed by the pandemic through sheer hard work, dedication, and commitment. We at the Ivy College of Business are very proud of you. Hello, Ivy College of Business graduates. My name is Michelle Applegate. I'm the marketing director for the Ivy College of Business. I just wanted to say how happy I am, how excited I am for you today. This is an exciting time of your year and I can't wait to see what you do. Good luck to all of you on this special day and please stay in touch with us. We love to promote our alumni. And I just wanted to say, go Cyclones. Congratulations. One last word of advice. Always remember, you haven't just received a degree, you have earned your degree from the Ivy College of Business at Iowa State University, something of which you can be very proud. Best wishes on the next steps of your adventure. Congratulations, Cyclones!